Arkansas, saw the most popular Arkansan, I think, since Bill Clinton, Jermaine Taylor. But Corey Spinks is well known in St. Louis. Respect in the trade for these two and respect between them. Could be nip and tuck, Glenn. Well, it could be really Taylor can't afford that to happen. He can't afford to have it close. You know, the look's not always going to go his way. Head's coming close there. Attempting to establish, or at least flick out that jab, Corey Spinks. But the reach is with Taylor. Six foot one, Spinks five, nine and a half. Burst there from Spinks. He's going to need a lot more of that to take the play away. But you just want to see Taylor start to walk him down, push forward. You know, show some bad intentions. He's got the talent, Jermaine Taylor. Are there ingredients missing? Is the whole package not quite there? Well, you don't get decisions over Bernard Hopkins twice if you haven't got the talent. But he just sometimes needs to show a bit more devil. Not backing off though, like he did with Cassie Muma. In an unfathomable display, really. He won it wide. It wasn't a good night, certainly in a marketing point of view for Jermaine Taylor. Yeah, he's trying to get too hard with that right hand, he's really trying to launch it. Work rate from Spinks. Somebody's not getting through. Yes, that's the problem for Spinks. He's throwing them with the hidden arms and gloves of Taylor. Styles not gelling well. Engaging each other somewhat. Good jab though from Spinks. Rocks the head back of Taylor. He comes back but is out of range and Spinks finishes well in that round. Yes, like a cat, you understand? Yes, you're having a lot of problems because you're going up and down with that football. Just move in a little faster. This man can't hurt you. And you got to realize that. And then go ahead and you the puncher. But you're fighting like you're trying to outbox him. And let the shit, if you miss the damn shit, shoot it back again. Right? Leon Spinks. The inspiration in uh, Corey's corner. Emmanuel Stewart. May be absolutely right, you know, can Corey Spinks make any sort of dent in a power-wise on Taylor? It's unlikely. Well, that's right, you know, he, he wasn't a puncher well away or like middle, so he's not going to carry power in, in middleweight. So really, Manny Stewart just wants Taylor just to walk through him, just to go right up to him and start throwing punches. Spinks was uh, concentrating on rhythm this week and he was hitting the pads with Kevin Cunningham his longtime trainer and mentor like a big brother to him he's talking to Taylor in there he's growing with confidence here Corey Spinks and I think we differed Glenn on the last round well there's very little in it so that could happen that could happen with the, the judges in a fight like this could be very, very different scorecards. Still Taylor yet to really impose himself. Better with the right hand, attempting to get the body. Spinks spits out defiance. He's got a few words there. Spinks, but this is better from Taylor. This is what he needs to do. He's got to be the boss. He's the champion. 
stabbing his right eye there, Corey Spinks. A great deal of these punches are hitting gloves and hitting arms. Yes, the defence is pretty good from Taylor. <laughs> Taylor the champion, remember. Spinks may have to win it convincingly to get the decision. It's close enough though, for those who thought Jermaine Taylor would win this easily. Well, it's still pretty early in the fight. Good left hand there from Spinks. Now Taylor starting to walk him down, lands with the right, looking stronger. Accurate. More powerful there, Jermaine Taylor who has got 17 knockouts and would really like another one here. Really threw the right hand with some bad intentions, finally. Cunningham here. Put it in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Get it straight. Get the stuff together. Get it together. All right? Yeah. You can't be standing there cold. I mean, you got to give him that bounce. You know, give him that bounce. Bing, 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 bing. That's what he needs, isn't it? Combinations in, out, rhythm, speed. Yes, but it, it's difficult when Taylor starts landing with the heavier punches to do that because he's got to be close to score with his and that's where Taylor can make him feel the power sixth round Jermaine Taylor's fourth defense of the WBC and WBO middleweight titles he's the, the linear king really Felix Sturm holds the WBA version of Abraham the IBF but Taylor's seen as the real number one because he ended the long reign of Bernard Hopkins That jab just being blocked by the, the left hand of Taylor. That jab is proving difficult for Spinks. The reach that Taylor gets with it, especially Glenn on the front foot when he's backing Spinks up. That's right. Taylor also trying to lure Spinks onto the right hand, and Spinks is going to the walking right under that. His chin hasn't always held up Corey Spinks. He was uh, wobbled by Roman Carmazine when he won the IBF light middleweight title. Defended that against Rodney Jones, but has been vulnerable in that area before. And Taylor is very sturdy in that department. Yes, you would think at some point Spinks is going to feel that power and what's going to happen then. Still just giving him too much room, Taylor. He's got to close the distance down quicker than he is. Oh, Corey Spinks hurt there. Felt that one. And that might really buoy the confidence of Jermaine Taylor. First time in the fight that Spinks looked uneasy. Yep, through a right, then a, a left, and a left. Just hurt Spinks. Well, you're looking for Taylor to keep the pressure on, to capitalize on that, and he stands off. 
He's got to keep work rate up, haven't you? To win these rounds, to make sure. You want to see a bit of devil from Taylor. Wargrove, he's a bigger man, he's a stronger man. Champion at this way. Start letting the shots go. Uppercut from Taylor. In cameos, this is better from the world middleweight champion. Well, if it keeps this up, it's starting to look a little bit ominous for Spinks. Keep draining him. Good advice from Emmanuel Stewart as we enter the second half of this. And size could become important in these latter rounds, Glenn. That's where you really feel it. Yes, strength, power. He's got to start telling you and think. But it'll only tell if he, if he makes him feel that, if he puts the pressure on Spinks. If he stands off, you know, Spinks will be all right. He needs to do what Emmanuel Stewart says, and that's step up and let the punches go. More punches. The maroon of the 28-year-old, Jermaine Taylor. Family man. Married to a basketball star here. Erica. Four children live in North Little Rock. Out to prove something. How's he doing for you so far, Taylor? Well, he's ahead. I've got him three points up on my scorecard. He just needs to start just throwing more punches, closing down that little bit quicker. Still has, for me, too much respect for Spinks. I think it's a bit closer. One or two of those early rounds, Spinks may be nicking. But Taylor, possibly in the ascendancy here. Difficult for Spinks, who's just got to keep on his toes, keep light, keep throwing the punches. This is odd for Spinks to steal it because remember Taylor is a good boxer as well, Olympic bronze medalist. You know he's got very good defense, count as well. Walks onto that right hand, attacks there, Corey Spinks. Comes back there, Spinks. Tip for tap. So you just think, even though they both land, it's going to have more effect on Spinks because of the, the extra power that Taylor possesses. Strength sapping and energy draining. Well, he's just started to uh, make a few little dints on the defense of Corey Spinks. Yeah, chipping away, Jermaine Taylor, slips there, Spinks. Well, he's got caught with the jab as he come in, the legs just buckled a little bit. I think that was a bit more than a slip. He's back sturdy, Corey Spinks. I mean, the power difference is obvious. It's whether Spinks can hold on and do enough. Becoming Taylor's fight.
didn't like the yes sirs there, did he, Kevin Cunningham? No. No, he certainly did. He was reading something into that. Just putting the ice on a swelling above the left eye, which was cut against Cassie Moomer and uh, against Winky Wright as well. Yeah, there's that good left hand just stumbling there. Binks just met him with a good jab as he came in. Five rounds left. The well middleweight title at stake on the line. Prize possession in the sport of boxing. Many thought it would be mission impossible for Corey Spinks. He's still there, but he's got work to do. 29 years of age now, and maybe up at middleweight, doesn't quite have the speed he had at welter and right middle, Glenn, which is what he really needs now. Looks like he's been a pound over for the weigh-in, so maybe he's tried to bulk up a little bit and not just take away from his speed. The problem for Spinks is his lack of power. Can't really, I, I would feel, make a dent in Taylor. No, Spinks hasn't had a knockout for more than six years. Not going to happen here, is it, Glenn? No, I shouldn't think so. Good when he gets his combinations flowing, but the defence has been tight from Jermaine Taylor. And he hasn't gone on a walkabout like he did with, with Cassie Moomer last time out. He's kept on Spinks, kept trying. Yes, he is trying, but I'd like to see him try more. I'd like to see him force the fight more. He doesn't seem that comfortable going forward, does he? Crowd getting unsettled here in Memphis. Well, he's not doing anything in this round. Taylor, he's a little out of range, Spinks but he's trying to do something. The Spinks can't feel that Taylor tires over the last few rounds. Maybe he's tight at the middleweight limit. Talk of him possibly going to super middleweight fighting Joe Calzaghe, maybe. No, he always seems pretty comfortable. You know, he doesn't seem to have a great deal of difficult, difficulty making the middleweight limit. Not much landing. Quiet round from both men. Yep, Taylor doing little or nothing. Big right hand at the end of the round. Nip and tuck that one. Everybody says the same thing. You ain't punching. That's something. If you don't punch it, you beat this man. You're not punching enough. Then when you land the punch, you're going to take almost 20 seconds before you punch again. You got to step it up. Man, get right back to him right away. This guy can't hurt you. He ain't even punching. And you go and do this up and down. Shit, you ain't got to be doing that. Just moving into him. Emmanuel Stewart is getting irritated. Is it becoming lackluster again from Taylor? Emmanuel sounds more than... He sounds exasperated. He sounds frustrated. Before long, I think he'll be getting angry. Difficult round to score. Difficult fight to score, really. Well, didn't do a great deal for me. Right hand at the end of the round. Nothing else from Taylor. Here's the ninth round. Hasn't caught fire. And to be fair, we didn't really think it would. A tactical tussle was predicted. And you've got Jermaine Taylor, the champion, in a pretty handy lead. Well, three points ahead. Still four rounds to go, so 
it's still there for Spinks. Certainly, if Jermaine Taylor you know, stands off so, so much, he needs to start throwing punches. It's really frustrating to see a fighter with this amount of talent who can do so much to stand off and be too careful. And sometimes there is just one thing missing from the boxing package. Dick Flaherty, Michael Pernick, Gail Van Hoy, the experienced Texan of the three judges. Interesting to see how they're reading things. I suppose you've got to remember Jermaine Taylor is the champion here. Yes, but up to this point so far this week, the most animated and fired up passionate Taylor's been was at the press conference. Yep, he was really rattled by Edison Miranda and lost his cool. Family were trying to get him to calm down. But, uh, he said, I'm a winner, I find a way to win, and that is why I'm the world middleweight champion. Well, there's a lot of people wishing he'd lost his cool in this fight. That's the jam from Taylor. It's not become the dominant performance to light up his career. It's better boxing from Spinks now, who's landing a shot, grabbing, moving round, frustrating Taylor. I mean, their booze at ringside as Spinks lands one there. Largely Taylor fans in here. And the danger, I guess, Glenn, is that people are going to start getting bored of him. Well, you, you can't blame them, really. He's very disappointed against Kasim Uma. You know, he didn't really come alive against Wiggy Wright. You know, he's been pretty lucky, hasn't he? You seem to sense Taylor. And Spinks doing a little bit more in this round. Will the Spinks jinx come into play? His father, Leon, pulled it off against Muhammad Ali. Michael Spinks, his uncle, against Larry Holmes twice. Can he do something unbelievable? Yeah, going up in weight as well, Michael. Amazing performance, that. And it will be some story if Corey Spinks can be crowned world middleweight champion. Just gotta, don't worry about looking proper, just do it. I know he's going to be hard. I told you, that's why I wish we had a Paul Miranda instead of him. The fight's exactly what I was expecting. But you've got to get out of the punch and go. To make money, you have to let punch and go. And that's the first time you shot the singles right here. Because every time you throw that He's never been happy with this match, Emmanuel Stewart. But he's got to be getting worried in that corner. When you saw your jam... Oh, well, just listen to him. You don't see Emmanuel Stewart that animated very often. do you? normally very, very cool in the corner. Okay. Is Corey Spinks nicking these rounds? Bouncing on his feet, Jermaine Taylor. No trench warfare in this one. But they're quality fighters, it just hasn't gelled then. No, that was always on the cards, wasn't it? You know, you've got this slick boxer who's not a big puncher. He didn't really expect the fireworks from Spinks. And Taylor is never really like that. You just the thought that Taylor, knowing that he needs to impress, would just go out and try something. American colleagues, HBO at ringside, have Jermaine Taylor three points up. We're starting to sway a little bit to Corey Spinks, last couple. Yes, I've got just a little bit busier. You know, he's just starting to think out a game plan. He's making Taylor miss, catching him with little counters. Nothing super eye-catching, but then, you know, you've got to be looking for Taylor to be showing how good he is, and he's not doing that. Third south four in a row for Jermaine Taylor. Can't be that easy. But the critics will say 
It's another blown up light middleweight. And you can't deal with him effectively. Taylor, for me, looks like a fighter that's got an awful lot of talent. But mentally, he's just not in love with the game. He hasn't got the passion for a fight. Well, I asked him sort of what boxers and fights got him really interested in the sport when he was a kid. And he said he never watched boxing, just the soap operas, because he grew up surrounded by his sisters and mum. Well, he's boxing like he's in a soap opera at the minute. We want to see the champion do a little bit more than this. Spinks continues to pepper away. Not quite sure how many of these are scoring. Well, for me, he's doing the better work in this round as well. He's got a little bit more of a rhythm. He's in and out. He's getting that right and that straight left working. Nothing spectacular, but, you know, he's in with a, the, the biggest, stronger man, the natural middleweight. Taylor is getting hypnotized. Well, just can't get settled, can he, Jermaine Taylor? Jumpy, jerky. No smoothness, rhythm. Spinks, light on his feet, gliding around the ring. Is he pinching these rounds? Yeah, it's good boxing for me from Spinks. That's another one in the bag, getting closer. Big outsider before the fight is the upset really becoming a reality here. Dan Leon looks fairly happy, doesn't he, alongside us? Yep, he's starting to move a little bit, getting a bit itchy. Okay, No urgency, get excited, says Emmanuel Stewart. This could be very, very close. Last couple of rounds. This is... Well, for me, he's coming back into it. Just one point between the two. Still Taylor, the champion ahead. But Spinks doing better. And this is surely where Taylor has to assert his authority on the smaller man and on the challenger well people think maybe you know down the stretch he runs out of gas and certainly in this fight it seems it seems that way body shot there from Corey Spinks who boxed so well to defuse Ricardo Mayorga a few years back to unify the welterweight crowns Ninth world title fight for him, fifth for Taylor. Who do you think's the better boxer? Spinks. And Spinks seems to have a little bit more to, that he's doing, you know, he's moving quite well, he's coming back, he's showing a few feints, trying something different. You know, he's bamboozling Taylor up to this point. Making Taylor seem laboured and stuck for ideas it's a really good effort this from Corey Spinks in not a good fight to be honest no it's never really caught fire has it but it was always on the cards that they, the styles would just